Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this lab, we will troubleshoot the GRE tunnel configuration from the previous lab. The GRE tunnel should be working with EIGRP over it, so PC1 and PC2 can reach each other. There are two misconfigurations on each router. Let's get started. I'll go on R1 first. Enable. Show IP interface brief. The tunnel interface is up, down, so it's not working. Notice the error message we're getting. Temporarily disabled due to recursive routing. This is a common problem in tunnel configuration. Show interface tunnel zero. Tunnel source of serial 000 is okay, but look at the destination. The destination has to be the address of the physical interface, which is at the other end of the tunnel not the tunnel's address itself. That's what's causing the recursive routing error message. Conf T, interface tunnel zero. Tunnel destination 200.0.0.2. Okay, that should end the error messages. Let's check the EIGRP configuration here too. Do show IP protocols. Routing for networks 10.0.1.0 slash 24 and 100.0.0.0 slash 30. There's a problem. We want to activate EIGRP on the G00 interface, which we are, and the tunnel interface. 100.0.0.0 slash 30, which is the S000 interface, isn't the tunnel interface, it's the tunnel source. Let's change that. Router EIGRP 100. No network 100.0.0.0.0.0.3. Network 192.168.1.0.0.0.3. End. Okay, we've solved two problems here on R1. However, there are still problems on R2, so our tunnel won't be working yet. Let's go on R2. Enable. I'll quickly check the EIGRP configuration here on R2. Show IP protocols. EIGRP is activated for 10.0.2.0 slash 24, which is G00 and 192.168.1.0 slash 30, which is the tunnel interface. So the EIGRP configuration looks good. Let's check the tunnel. Show interface tunnel zero. The tunnel destination is correct, but the source isn't. The tunnel source is the inside interface, gigabit ethernet zero zero but it should be the interface connected to the service provider, serial 000. Conf T, interface tunnel zero, tunnel source S000. Do show IP interface brief. The tunnel still isn't up. Let's check one other important thing. Do show IP route. There is no route allowing us to reach the tunnel destination of 100.0.0.2. Remember, the tunnel destination address must be reachable. Let's configure a static default route pointing to the service provider. Exit. IP route 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 200.0.0.1. Do show IP interface brief. Okay, looks like it's up now. Let's try to ping the other end. Do ping 
192.168.1.1. Okay, it's working now. Now, are we getting the EIGRP route to R1's internal network? Do show IP route. There it is, 10.0.1.0. Finally, let's try a ping from PC2 to PC1. Ping 10.0.1.100. Okay, our ping worked. We have solved the issues and fixed the GRE tunnel. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT, or Basic Attention Token, donations in the Brave browser.